Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. <clears throat> Amen. We do thank the Lord for another night of Sunday school. God is truly good. He's merciful and he's kind. Thank God for his many, many blessings. God has brought us through another week where well, we are glad. We are praising his holy name. And we want to give God the honor. Give him all the praise. Hallelujah. For bringing us through this day. Hallelujah. Another miracle. And we thank God for it. <clears throat> Tonight we're going to pray for the fallen people. Deacon Billy Hill. Mother Beatrice Marsha, Mother Lily Thomas, Reverend Irene Rocker, Reverend Nonin Kill, Brother Patrick Manasseh, Mother Ruthie Hall, Elder Mabinia Halton, Brother Dion and Dian, D'Antonio Reed, the Watkins family, <clears throat> the Kennedy family, Pastor Dean and Derry Gary and Anna, Sister Corey Peterson, and the William and the, and the uh, Jackson family. Thank God for uh, the family of Sister Marzette, <clears throat> the family of the William and Johnson family, Bishop William family, Sister. Page, the York family, the Pew family, the Thomas family. Thank God for even those we did not call. That can pray for those people at this time. And the Father wants you to move in the place where they are. Touch and heal that body, strengthen them on every hand. Oh, gracious God, we are dependent on you. We are trusting you, my Father. In the name of Jesus. Say anything we ask in your name that you would do it. And my God, we're dependent on you right now. In the name of Jesus. Have mercy right now, my Father. Somebody been sick a long time. Touch and heal their bodies. Give them more strength. Give them more power, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God, we know that you're able because you did it for others. Do it for them. You open the eyes of blind Bartimaeus in the name of Jesus, the man that had the withered hand. Oh, my God, you touched and you healed, my God. Just one touch tonight, you know, one touch. And your word at the place where they are in the name of Jesus. You said anything we ask in your name that you would do it. We're doing it according to your word, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We believe in your word. We believe in you, my God. Have mercy right now, Lord. Let it be done in your great name. Oh, my God. When you raise them up, my Father, we promise you that we will give you the honor and give you the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank God for all things in Jesus' name. We have to be. Hallelujah. In the house. Yes. Yeah. the Lord wants more. In the name of these Jesus. terrible days, the Lord allowed us one more day. And we're going to praise him. Every day that he gives us, we're going to praise him. We're going to lift him up. And we're going to live for him. Regardless of what the enemy may say, the message he may try to send, we're going to 
do your word, Lord. We're going to do it according to your word. Hallelujah. And if your servant, hallelujah, having to get off any kind of way, then my God, send your punishment, hallelujah, to straighten them out. And we'll bow to your will in your great name. Heavenly Father, we love you. And take us through one by one. Now, we're going to bring you our teacher for the night. Let us receive Mother Treasures in our own way. Amen. A teacher indeed. Thank you, Bishop Curtis. God is good, and he's good all the time. Just want to say praise the Lord to the saints of God, thanking God for another week that he has brought us to the Sunday school hour. Amen. And we would desire you all to pray for us as we go into the Sunday school lesson that God will give us a thought in the Word of God. We are studying Lesson 6, January 9th, 2022. Amen. And our lesson is found, St. John 15, 1 through 8. St. John 15, 1 through 8. Amen. And our subject is abide in the truth vine. Abide in the truth vine. And the golden text say, I am the vine. Ye are the branches. <coughs> he that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, Ye can do nothing. St. John 15 and 5. Amen. That subject says abide in the true vine. Abide means to remain or stay in a certain place. Amen. Abiding and remaining in this certain place is abiding in the true vine. Jesus is that true vine. Amen. <clears throat> Jesus is where we get our substance and nutrition uh, from. Amen. Why? Because we are connected with him. Golden text, just to tie it in with this subject. He say, I am the vine. Amen. Jesus, he is the vine. He is the one that we need to be connected to. Amen. Say, ye are the branches, the saints of God. We are the ones that's connected to Jesus. He is the where we get our nutrients from so that we can prosper or grow or multiply. He that abideth in me, Jesus is speaking to his disciples. He that stays in me, he that remains in me, and I in him and Jesus in us and Jesus in the disciples, if we stay connected to him, the same bringing forth much fruit. Amen. We will have a productive saintly life. We will be productive witnesses. Amen. Convincing others to come and follow Christ like we are. He said, for without me, for without Christ, ye can do nothing. Amen. You might be in the world and you do a few things yourself. Amen. But spiritually so, without Christ, you can do nothing. Amen. You got to know you need him at all times. If the branch is not connected to the vine, It'll wither and die away. Amen. Now we will go into our lesson. Amen. St. John 15 and 1. It says, I am the true vine. Jesus is letting his disciples and us know, I am the true vine. Jesus said, he is the true vine. So if he's putting emphasis on being the true vine, undoubtedly there are some false vines. Yes. Amen. But Jesus say he is the true vine. And my father and the spirit. Remember on last week he said, I and my father are one. We are the same. Amen. Jesus said the spirit is 
the husband man. Amen. And don't you know if Jesus is that true vine and the father is the husbandman, he is the vine dresser, meaning he has all authority and he oversees the vineyard. Amen. So you ought to be grateful that God, his spirit, is overseen and have total authority of the vineyard. Amen. Verse 2. It says, every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it, that it bring forth more fruit. Amen. Jesus, we are connected as him, as to him as saints of God. Every branch, every saint of God, every Christian in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh it away. Amen. Uh, you got some spiritual fruit and some natural fruit. Amen. Naturally so, if a branch is on the ground and disconnected to that tree, it's going to die and wither away. Amen. Spiritually so, if we are spiritual branch and we have disconnected from the vine, which is Jesus, we will get no nutrients. We won't get the things that will strengthen us. Amen. But we are disconnected we will wither and dry away. Yes. And when we wither and die, amen, Jesus is saying that branch is taken away. Why? Because it's good for nothing. It's not productive. And then he goes on to say that every branch that bring it, that beareth fruit, amen, you are productive. You yes. are producing <clears throat> fruit. Amen. He purges it. Amen. Jesus purges it. What that mean, Mother Curtis? He prunes it. Some stuff on you that needs to be cut off. Yeah. He'll cut that bad off. Amen. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes, yeah. naturally so, when a, a, a farmer uh, is, is pruning his fruit trees, it's a certain time of the year that you got to prune that tree. Yes, yes. You can't just prune it any old kind at any old time of the year, but it's a certain time you cut away, amen, those uh, dead branches, amen. Why are you pruning it so it can bring forth more fruit? If it's bringing forth the little fruit, when it's pruned, it's going to bring forth fruit in abundance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Think about yourself. When God prunes us, it doesn't feel good. You don't like it, but it's for your good. Yes. Sometimes God has to come in, praise God, and prune us. Amen. Take those bad old, old branches off for us that's not being productive. And don't you know sometimes that no harm stuff, it'll hold you back. It'll keep you from being productive in God. And that's what we want to be as saints of God. We want to be productive in God. He want to uh, make us more productive so we can bring forth more fruit. We can convince others to come and follow me as I follow Christ. Amen. Why? Because you want to be productive to the kingdom of God. Verse 3. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Jesus was speaking to the disciples. He told them, now you are clean through the word. The word is what he was speaking unto them. Yes. John 1 and 1 say uh, he was in the world. In the beginning. And, uh, in the beginning. Amen. Was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. Amen. And don't you know mm. this is how we going to be productive. We yes. got to get in the word and stay there. The word is God. Amen. When we are in the word, we are in God. 
Yes. It yes. say you he abide in me and he abide in us. And don't you know we can't sell ourselves short. We got to make sure we are in God. Sure so many times we think we are in God, but we are not in God. Amen. You want to be in God so he can be in you. And if God is in you, he won't dwell in an unclean temple, but he's going to dwell in a clean temple. Verse 4. Say, this is still Jesus talking to the disciples. Amen. He was telling those 11 they were clean through the word. Why? Because Judas Iscariot was unclean. He was a traitor. Amen. He sold the Lord out. Amen. He was not clean. Amen. Verse 4. It say, abide in me. He was telling those other 11, you stay in me. Yeah. You stay in your place. Amen. Abide in me and I in you. Amen. As the branch can cannot bear fruit of itself. All by yourself, you can't bring forth any fruit. You need to be connected to the vine. Amen. Yeah, yeah. And don't you know, praise God, I thought about it too, being connected to the vine. Amen. You got to be connected to the power source. Yeah. You are connected to the power source. You don't have no power. Amen. Jesus is where we get our spiritual power from. Amen. He said, except it abide in the vine. That's the only way the branch can bring forth more fruit. Except it abide in Jesus. Yes. Except yes. it abide in the word. Except it abide in Jesus. No more can ye all by ourselves. No more can we. No more can you except ye abide in me. That's a must. Amen. I thought about when we come to God, when we come to Christ, we are as newborn babes in Christ. Yeah, yeah. And if you are a newborn babe in Christ, you ought to be desiring the sincere milk of the word. Why? Because you can grow thereby. Amen. Think about newborn babes in Christ. If you just come to Christ and you are a newborn babe in him, 10 years down the line, you shouldn't be a newborn babe anymore. You should have grown on to a perfection. We shouldn't be where we started. Amen. Check yourself out. Are you where you was when you first came to Christ? Have you grown in it? Are you stunning? If you are stunning, you are good for nothing than to be cast out, amen, and gathered up by men, amen, and cast into the fire. We need to be productive saints. We need to be productive disciples. Yeah. Why? Because God is abiding on the inside. One song says something on the inside, it'll work on the outside, and it'll bring a change in your life. Amen. Man, being productive, saints. Amen. Verse 5. It say, I am the vine. Jesus. He is the vine. He is the power source. Ye are the branches. The disciples. Back then, they were the branches. Oh, yeah. In our day and time, we are the branches. We are the one that ought to stay connected to Jesus. Why we want to stay connected to him? So we can grow. So we can get the nutrients that we need. Saints of God, if you want to get some nutrients, amen, get in the word and stay there, amen, because why? It will strengthen your faith. Amen. And oh, when you yeah. strengthen your faith in the Lord, you can get stronger and stronger and stronger. Why? Because you are connected to the vine, which is Jesus. Oh, yes. He that <laughs> abideth. Amen. Anytime you see that E-T-H at the end of a word. Amen. That's a continuation. Amen. He that abideth. He that stayeth. 
Amen. He that remaineth, amen, without stopping, without intervals. If you remain in Jesus, in me, and I in him, if you stay connected to him, he say the same bringeth forth much fruit. Oh, yes. You're going to be productive. <laughs> amen. Why? Because he had already uh, pruned you. Amen. And let you came forth. Amen. He say for the same bringing forth much fruit. Why? Because you're connected to the power source. For without me, ye can do nothing. Praise without God. Jesus, we can do nothing on our own. I think about myself. Anything I have to do, amen, I can do nothing of myself. I have to fast. I have to pray. I have to get in the word. Amen. All of this, amen, will help strengthen you. Amen. So you can be a productive saint. Say, if any man abide not in me, amen, if you don't want to believe in Jesus, if you don't want to remain in him, if you want to disconnect yourself from Jesus, amen, you will not be a productive saint. If you disconnect from him, that's just like a branch on a tree. If it get disconnected, it's going to wither away. It's going to die. It's going to dry up. Why? Because it's not getting the nutrients that he needs. The nutrients that we need is in Jesus. Oh, yes. The nutrients <laughs> that we need is in the word of God. Oh, yes. Amen. Any dilemma you get in, amen, you can find it in the word of God. That's your way out of your dilemma. Say, he is cast forth as a brand. If you disconnect yourself from Jesus, you are cast away. Amen. You are like a branch that's cast away and drying up and withering away. And is withered. Amen. You can't be flourishing and you aren't connected to the power source. Jesus. You Jesus. will wither away and die. Amen. And don't you know if you just walk out, amen, among the trees, you see a wind have blown branches off. And if it uh, lay there long enough, it's going to dry up, get out, hollow. Amen. And it's going to drop and wither away. Amen. And man will come along and gather it up and make a fire. Yes, amen. yes, yes. Say, and the men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. Amen. It, it's real tragic for us to disconnect from Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Disconnect from Jesus. So many times the pastors say, the worst thing about going to hell is being separated from your God. Yes, yes. Amen. <clears throat> we never want to be separated from God because what you need, God's got. Yeah. He got everything that you need. Amen. Sure enough, sure enough. He got it. Amen. And that's where we need to run to. Amen. I think about two. When the Lord is pruning us, when he's pruning us, it's in the form of trials, sacrifices, tribulations. This helps us to grow and strengthen our faith in God. No tests, no testimony. You got to go through some things so you can get stronger and stronger in the Lord in your faith. Oh, yes. Amen. Pruning, amen, does not simply uh, take away, uh, it's not just spiritual surgery to take away the bad thing. Amen. But it can mean also getting some of that bad away from you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And sometimes God has to really prune some good stuff off of you. Yeah. He prune it so you can be better. Don't you want to be better? God yeah, is the yeah. one that can make us better. Amen. If he make 
us better, we can do nothing but get better in the way. Yes, pruning hurts us, amen, but it helps us in the same fashion, and we will enjoy the end product, amen. When a, when a, a, a fruit tree has been pruned, mm -hmm. whereas you was getting little fruit, now you will get abundant fruit. Yeah. <laughs> sweeter fruit. Yeah. More fruit. Why? Because you ought to want the Lord to prune you. The Lord say, him that he loveth, he chases it. Yes, yeah, yeah, And don't yeah. you know, really pruning is a sort of a chastening process. It's a process that we got to go through, amen, to be what God will have us to be. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Get in the word and stay there. Why? Because that's where you're going to get your nutrients from. Oh, yeah. Amen. In the word of God. Amen. Verse 7. It says, if ye abide in, in me. Amen. This must be very, very important. Jesus keep admonishing the disciples. He's keep admonishing us. If we abide, if ye abide in me, if we stay in Jesus, yeah, yeah. and my words abide in you, don't be careless hearers. When you hear the word of God, amen, you are upon it in your mind over and over so you won't be a forgetful hearers. Amen. Ye shall ask what ye will. Amen. Look at God. God say if you just stay in me, hallelujah, yeah, and let my yeah, word yeah. abide in you. He said, whatever, hallelujah, that you ask, I'll do it for you. But you can't live no any kind of way and expect, and expect God to bless you in your mess <clears throat> because God won't bless a mess. No. He said, if you ask whatever you will, he said, and it shall be done to you. God say he'll give you the desires of your heart. Whatever you will. That's why a lot of times, saints of God, we if we ask God, we say, Lord, if it's your will. Because anytime we are abiding in the will of God, everything is going to be all right. Amen. Verse 8. Herein my Father, my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit. Amen. When you are being a productive saint, you are glorifying God. Amen. So shall ye be my disciples. If you want to be God's disciples, amen, you got to bring forth much fruit. Amen. So he'll be glorified. Amen. And a lot of time, praise God, saints of God. Uh, when God, we are going through our trials, like I said, when God is pruning you, amen. God is wanting to perfect one or more of the fruit of the Spirit. Amen. One of these in Galatians 5.22, God is trying to perfect in you so you can have more love. Amen. Love joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Amen. When God is trying to prune you, he's trying to perfect one or more of these fruits of the Spirit. When we are abiding in Christ, amen. Abiding in Christ demands that we, we worship, we meditate on God's word, we are prayerful, we sacrifice, we be in consecration and service. Amen. And if we do all of these things as we are abiding in Christ, Christ say, if ye draw nigh unto me, I draw nigh unto you. Yeah. I promise you, 
if you worship God out of the depths of your soul, amen, you will get closer to the Lord. You will draw nigh unto him, and he will draw nigh unto you. Yeah, Abide yeah. in the true vine. Saints of God. Jesus is the true vine, and we are the branches. Amen. And if we want to bring forth more fruit, cause stay connected to the true vine. Amen. And we will be productive saints. Amen. And we will bring forth more fruit. Hope you got a thought, Bishop Curtis. Amen. Thank God for a great lesson from Mother Curtis. Amen. And tonight she didn't come as a mother, she came as a teacher. <laughs> and that's that's wonderful. <clears throat> and thank God that you know I thank God I married someone who was dealing with the older ladies in church. When when I married her, I noticed that the older, it seemed like the older saints, the older the ladies, the older in the church, had their arms around her, teaching her. And, and she hung with them just like they was her age. Right. <clears throat> had me going to sister me uh -huh. when we first got married. <clears throat> so we thank God that, you know, for someone who was taught by the older saints. You know, I don't have any problem with her, you know, not being like those women in the world. Thank God, you know, thank God for that. Amen, but if you marry a worthy person, that's what you're gonna get. Oh, yeah. And how be it that you become just like the something in you with that too. Let me leave that alone. <laughs> Hallelujah. But our lesson say abide in the true vine. Yes. <clears throat> I heard Mother Curtis saying that evidently it must be a false vine somewhere. Because this lesson say abide in the true vine. <clears throat> and immediately we understand that true vine is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, our golden text said, I am the vine, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. Then he going to say, for without me, Ye can't do nothing. Who believe the word? Amen. Now somebody gonna go against that and say, well, we still doing something. You're not doing what Christ wants you to do. Amen. You are not in the word. Not like you're supposed to be. Uh, I hear so many folks now contradicting the okay. word of God. I want, to, I want to say that the saints don't love folks and what have you with it. I, I, I think that is, that you, you don't want to love anybody. If you, if you love them, you preach the real word of God. Yeah. Because if you, you pat folks on their back for sin that they are committing, then you're helping them to go to that other place. All right. I think it's true love coming from the real saints of yeah. God. <clears throat> that brought on the thought too. Evidently, someone is not receiving the Holy Ghost. They said, "What? Well, well, what the Holy Ghost got to do with it? In order for you to abide in Him, All right. to be connected to Him, yeah, yeah. then you need the Holy Ghost." Amen. You know, you know, I, 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 I got maybe. A vision that you probably wouldn't get. You, you get something else, but this is what God told to me to abide in Him. I seen, you know, rays coming from a, 
person that's filled with his spirit, connected to him, yes. wherever he is, mm -hmm. hallelujah. And the source runs through those rays back to that individual who needs it, hallelujah. It's just like, it's just like electricity. You got to be hooked up to the yes. source yes. Yes. in order for electricity to run to whatever you're trying to be whatever you're trying to use or whatever. If, it, if it's a drill, then it got to be hooked up to it. Right. Either battery source or electricity. Hallelujah. And, you, and once it come loose, uh -huh. it's not going to work. No, sir. As long as it's plugged up, uh -huh. it's going to work. Hallelujah. <clears throat> and you got to be hooked to the right source. That's it. I don't want to go into that, <laughs> but you can you can have a, 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 a drill that is 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 ready for a hundred and ten volts. You hook it into two twenty, gonna blow it up. All right, it's too much. All right. Hallelujah! You got to go into the right source. God is a good God. He's a merciful. Jesus let us know right away. He said, I am yeah. the vine. And ye of the branches. He that abided in me yeah. and I in him. The same. But you got to be connected to him. Bring it forth much reason why some is not bringing forth fruit, fruit is because they're not connected to the Lord Jesus Christ. He made it plain as day. Yes, sir. Without me, mm -hmm. you can do nothing. Amen. And this must be a continuation. You got to continue. It has to last. It has to dwell. Must remain steadfast, huh? Mm -hmm. Amen. If you come disconnect, honey, you in trouble. Yes. Hallelujah. But in order for you to be connected, let's make it plain. Now, if you don't have an altar, well, I heard Mr. Crittenden saying that they have an altar at Adamville. Yeah, we got an altar here. All right. Mm -hmm. And since we are, we are going through this, this virus, uh -huh. we're going to tell you how to do it. Make you all that at home. Yes, sir. Get you a specific place in your house. Go in there and get down on that altar. Say, Lord, I am not connected to the vine. Hmm? I'm not connected to the true vine. I'm going to be connected. Hey. And every day, go in there and get down on your knees. Amen. And call on the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. You call on him, I declare that he will come to you. He'll feed you with the Holy Ghost. You won't be getting all these crazy thoughts. Mm -hmm. That's why we got all these different thoughts now. Because the folks are not abiding in his word. Huh? Amen. Yeah. You got to abide in the word. The word of God tells us that that, that first verse, it tells us about what? That father. Uh-huh. Yeah, he is the vine dresser. All right. Oh, uh, he may be considered to be the gardener. Yes, sir. Of the farmer. Mm-hmm. Talking about the spirit. The yes. spirit that dwells in That's Jesus. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. We don't, we, we don't want you to get confused. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the spirit of God that dwells in Jesus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, is he letting you know that he is the vine dresser. Amen. And uh, I don't think that Jesus did any of this work while he was here on earth. All right. He let the spirit take care of that. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, when he went back, he went back to the Father. Thank you, Jesus. And I want you to know that the Lord Jesus Christ 
He is the Father and he's doing the work right now. Not only is he the gardener and the farmer and the vine dresser, he is the same one that prunes. Mm -hmm. That second verse talk about him pruning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Prune that it will bring forth what? More fruit. Yes. Whenever you prune something, I learned that it, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't a, a tree or anything, but it was some, I planted some, uh, uh, what was that I planted? Yeah, some, it was a plant they told me, said take all them side branches off of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you take those side branches off, they're suckers. Somebody know what I'm talking about right suckers now. Suckers like Amen. Mm -hmm. They say they're suckers. And what it does is it suck all the substance all of that plant. from that plant. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. okay. We're talking about the tomato. Yes, sir. <laughs> Did y'all know that? Yeah, the, the tomato. All right. Some, some young men, some farmers, men that farm more than I did, they was teaching me and telling me, say, get rid of all them sucker plants. Say, take them off. And you had to know how to find them, though. Say, they, they're good for nothing. They say, they'll bring forth fruit, but it's little small fruit. Yes. And I guarantee if you do it the way that you're supposed to do, you get bigger tomatoes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the Lord Jesus Christ. If, uh -huh. if you're carrying some of the fruits of the spirit that is not good, All right. hallelujah, mm. you know, God will help you to get rid of those fruits. Yeah, there are some fruits of the spirit that is not good. Mm -hmm. How many know that? That's right. Somebody read Galatians 5 and 21. Galatians 5 and 21. Galatians. <clears throat> Galatians 5 and 21. We're going to tell you about fruits of the Spirit that is okay. not of God. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and you find out they're not, they're not helpful to you. That's right. They will hurt you. Amen? Amen. Galatians 5 and 21 says what? In bring it. Uh, what, what, what kind of, now these are, are fruits of the spirit that is not, go, go uh, Galatians 5 and 20 and 21, let's come down so they know what we're talking about. 19. Now the works of the flesh are, now the works of the flesh is are manifest, are manifest, which are these, which are these, adultery, adultery, fornication, fornication, uncleanness, uncleanness, lasciviousness, lasciviousness idolatry, idolatry, Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Hatred. Hatred. Variance. Variance. Emulation. Emulation. Wrath. Wrath. Strife. Strife. Sedition. Sedition. Heresies. And heresies. Envying. Envying. Murders. Murder. Drunkenness. Drunkenness. Reveling. Reveling. And such like. As anything like it. Amen. Of the which mm -hmm. I tell you before. Yeah. As I have also told you in time past. Mm -hmm. That they which do such things yeah. shall not inherit the kingdom of God. That's why you got to be pruned. That's right. You can't have this stuff in your life and think that you're going into God's kingdom. Now, the fruits of the Spirit. Come but the me. fruit of the Spirit the is. The second verse says. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Love. Joy. Joy. Peace. Peace, long suffering, long suffering, gentleness, gentleness, goodness, goodness, faith, faith, meekness, meekness, temperance, temperance against such, against such, there is no law. There is no law. God is not going to prune. That's what you need. That's right. Right there. God will not prune that all for you because you need that. That's He's going right. to get rid of all that bad stuff though. Somebody need to tell the Lord, say, Lord, prune me. Get rid of it. Got a lot of folks now want to drink, and folks think now that you, you know, you're against them, cause you tell them not to drink. But the Bible just.
told you that drunkenness, if, you, if you're if drunk and you're not born Amen. into God's kingdom. Then the third verse, let's go back to the third verse, said that the word cleanses us. Mm -hmm. The word of God cleanses us. And what? The word makes us good. The word of God will clean you up. We're clean through the word. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. You need the word of God to clean you up. Now, those of you who have studied the word much and, and, and you don't understand what God is doing, when a minister of God preached the word, don't get angry with him. Come up with some phony stuff. Tell me he don't love. He don't. Uh, he don't uh, uh, care about those. Yes, he does. He the one that really loves you. One who don't love you, who pat you on the back and tell you to go ahead and do those things. Cause the word of God, Hallelujah, it will clean you up. That's why I try to use a lot of word, Hallelujah, whom the Lord loveth, He chases. Thank God for the whippings that God has given me. Hallelujah. It will make you better. And on to that, let's go on. Uh, the fourth verse, uh, the Bible tells us to continue to live in Jesus. Amen. You got to continue to live. I, I'm, I'm going to have to stop tonight, y'all. You got to continue to live in him. And the word said, abide in me and I in you. Hey. As the branch cannot bring forth, cannot bring fruit of itself, as except it abide in the vine. So no more can ye except ye abide in me. You can't bring forth nothing unless you abide. You got to stay in Jesus. What we said, continue, last, dwell, stay, remain, be steadfast. Yes, sir. I can hear my old pastor preacher say, be steadfast, yeah. unmovable, always, always abounding in the works. Abounding in the works of the yeah. Lord. But did you know? Your faith, faith. <laughs> Your faith. God is a good God. <laughs> praise God. Yeah. I praise God for every man. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. I believe that was Lord, good. I thank you. You say, I am the vine, and ye uh -huh. are the branches. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You that abide in me, uh -huh. and I in him. Yes, sir. The same bring forth much fruit. But without me, you can do, can do nothing. Amen. God is good. God is good. I'm going to just skip down. You can't do nothing without Jesus. Amen. Somebody's not connected. I told you tonight how you can become connected Amen. by receiving the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. If you don't receive the Holy Ghost, you are not connected. Amen. That's why you can't bring forth good fruit. You can't live right. Hey. You try to live and you fall. <clears throat> Sometimes, I, I, I remember years ago when I was a little younger, not much younger, God showed me. People that was falling. You ought to thank God that God let you fail. Mm -hmm. So you know where you are. Some, some folks have moved from base yet. First base. You're still on first base. But you think you done ran the base. No, you haven't. You out there, you committing adultery, fornication, drinking, and doing everything that you want to do. God is letting you know where you are. I want to say that to you tonight. If you're doing those things, know that you are not in Christ Jesus. Because if you was in Christ Jesus, you'd be trying to get closer. Closer than what you are. You'd be trying to do better mm -hmm. if you was in him. But because you are out of him, you're trying to duck and hide and cover all this stuff up. But God is letting you know that you need more. You need to repent, go down in the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Then come to the altar and do it the right way. Amen. I heard Bishop Phillips tell a minister years ago, he said, you need to, you know, show sure up. Come on to this altar and get the real Holy Ghost. Come on down here and get it. And that, that, that's what you need. Amen. Herein is my Father glory, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. Yes. God wants you to bear a whole lot of fruit. Yes, sir. Yeah. So you can be his disciple. No fruit. No, no disciple. Amen. No disciple. We got to do it like God said. Regardless to what they say. Yes, sir. We got to do it according to God's holy word. You can't see his word mm -mm. because you're not filled with his spirit. It takes God to reveal his word to you. Yeah. You hear a voice come in your ear. Mm -hmm. Behind you, it will tell you this is the way. And when you hear this is the way, then do what God says. God is a good God, and He's worthy to be praised. We're going to stop tonight. Hallelujah. <laughs> I, I, I had one other thought. I've seen, <laughs> since I've been passing, I've seen one man, his leg was bad. And they told this man, well, we, we got to take this leg off. You know, they taking that leg off, and he lived a good yes, while, yes. a long time. Amen. With that one leg. Sometimes you need to be pruned. That's so right. Take that right. Amen. And that's what's stopping you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go here tonight. Thank God for the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for you. Continue to be careful. The virus is out, and the more I listen to the news, they tell me it's going up. And so many went, I, I, I got to go home and get the number. And I, I guarantee you it went up today because it's been going up all the week. So you be very careful, wear your mask, be very protected of yourself, social distancing. Amen. Watch yourself in crowds. Yeah, I like to get in crowds too, but I'm, I'm kind of. I'm kind of staying my social distance because I'm, I'm waiting till all this over with. When it's over with, we're going to have a time. God is a good God. He's willing to be praised. All hearts are clear tonight. Amen. Love everybody. I hope you love me. I love you more. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost, rest, rule, and abide with his people now, henceforth, and forevermore. That all the people say. Amen. 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 Love you. Love you too.